Today we're gonna make the perfect yellow cake. It is soft and tender and moist and has a delicate crumb from both the eggs and the egg yolks that we put into it. It is perfectly yellow and it pairs beautifully with a chocolate American buttercream. It's just <sighs> perfect for birthday parties or literally any type of event. Like I, this would be great for Tuesday, Tuesday evening. I mean, hello, happy Tuesday. Let's get into it. I'm super stoked about this cake. She's so moist, I'm so tender, I'm like, I can't even right now. So step one is we're gonna prepare our pans. Boop, see me do this, you know I do it with parchment. I take a piece, wait for it. Take a piece, fold it over, or if you have two halves, great. Make sure that you wake your neighbor up. Very important step. Sorry. Sharpie. And we're gonna chase around the outside of my pan. Yep. Grab yourself some skizzers. And then you're going to gently place it down so that you don't piss her off even more. And you're gonna cut on the inside. Um, yep. Because one, Sharpie is terrible. And two, we traced on the outside of our pan and we would like this to fit in the bottom. So as logic would tell us, we need to cut inside our trace line. Et voila. Give your hands a little spritz, just a little spritz in there. <laughs> Take your parchment, place it in the bottom of your pan. Marvel at your cutting skills. Yep, set them aside. Way. So let's whisk our dries together. So right here I've got cake flour. Now I'm making a 1.5 times batch of this because I'm gonna make some cupcakes. I'll put the link down below so you can also make cupcakes. Uh, this is cornstarch, super secret ingredient right here. Giving it away, all the secrets from the get-go. Baking powder, yes. Salt, kosher, whisk. Try not to get it on yourself, but if you do, know that it's okay. We've all been there. I hate to break this to you, but we have to wait. We have to sit this. It's very upsetting. Uh, I know, but I wouldn't make you do it if, you, if it weren't necessary because you know I don't like extraneous things. So grab yourself a piece of parchment paper. We know how I do this now because I am allergic to mess. Parchment on my counter. Okay, get yourself a sifter, a, the biggest one possible. I spoon it in here because it's just so much. And I know that if I try to pour from this bowl, it's going to get everywhere. And I'm allergic to what? Messes. Okay. Now the sifting is gonna break up the clumps. It's gonna make sure that the ingredients are nice and like incorporated. It's just really important with cake flour because it's so finely ground. Put your beautifully fluffy sifted flour back into your bowl like so carefully so as not to get any more in your eggs really to see yes so the hard part is almost done so here we go we've got sour cream and then milk. We're gonna whisk these together because we want to make it easy to combine into the rest of our ingredients. So just go ahead and, cause sometimes sour cream, you know, it can take a minute to get incorporated. And we want everything to be mixed as quickly and efficiently and easily as possible. So this is one such way to do that. No clumps, all incorporated. Your butter should be room temperature. Um, I just hit it with a blowtorch, got it real nice and soft and you know pliable and it's just gorgeous in there. Um, and to that, we are going to add our sugar. Yeah, yeah, add some sugar. That's what makes it so nice and tender, fluffy. Whoa, okay. Start on low because we want the sugar in our cake and not on our counter. And then turn it up. Now we are gonna beat this in until it is light and fluffy, unlike a pound cake where we want a nice dense texture or you know, chewy cookies. Um, we want this to be nice and light and fluffy and the way to do that is to cream your butter and sugar properly. So it's gonna come together in like a paste 
and then we're going to let it disperse. So we're going to keep feeding it until it disperses. All right, so our eggs, and, our, our eggs, our sugar is nice and light and fluffy, and we are going to start adding our eggs and then beating those in. So just kind of add them one at a time. If you get a yolk in there with it, doesn't matter. We're slowly adding the eggs and really allowing those to beat in nicely. Give them a nice scrape down. That nice fluffy situation in there, so yellow. It's gonna make such a beautiful yellow cake. Okay, let's do more. Two more. Now we have ourselves a luscious batter so far. Yes, so proud of her. Ah, baby yellow, gorge. All right, and now all that is left for us to do is incorporate our dry and our wet ingredients. And we already made that super easy for ourselves. So guys, this is, I mean, we're on the, the home stretch here. All right, turn on mom. And we're just gonna start adding our flour and then our um, milk mixture. Now, we don't want to dilly-dally with our additions. We wanna make sure that we are getting it in there. I never let my dry ingredients completely mix in before I add the next batch uh, or next round of it, if you will, because you don't wanna overwork that gluten. I mean, it is cake flour, so there's less gluten, but there's still gluten in there, peeps and we don't want to activate it any more than we have to. This is testing the limits of my mixer, but I believe in her. I'm gonna stop it uh, and scrape out all of the rest of my liquids because I want to make sure everything gets in there and I don't want my batter mixing while I do so. While I'm here, I'm just gonna scrape down my bowl, get whatever's on the bottom up to the top. Uh, we might as well just make good use of her time here and just give her a nice fold. You see there's some some just kind of chilling on the sides. I want to make sure that nothing is stuck in the bottom of my bowl because let's be honest, there's always something stuck down there. Wow, she is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Now this, this same recipe will also fit into eight inch pans. Um, and it will also fit into three, a three layer cake. So you're just gonna have a little bit thinner layers, as logic would tell you. Grab yourself a little offset, a little, little offset spatula or spoon, either one will work. And just go ahead and spread it out. Yep, just give it a nice little spread. Um, you want it to be as even as possible. We are gonna place it in the oven, which I have preheated to 325 convection. They're probably gonna bake like 25 minutes. Uh, they're, they're a little fatter than some of our other two layer cakes. Just watch them and then they'll be perfect every time. And they're out. Look at these beauties. So you see that they're, they're actually pretty thick. Um, so this could easily be a three pan situation, a three layer situation. Uh, but these baked about 35 minutes. You really wanna make sure that they're truly done. They're gonna feel set and kind of not firm, but they won't have that kind of give and that indent that won't pop back up. You should be able to feel springy. Um, and then you can also use our best friend, the cake tester, just like pop that in there and it should come out with just a few clean crumbs. Um, really definitely no wetness. And if there's too many crumbs, just give it an extra couple minutes just to be sure. Um, but so these are gonna cool about 10 minutes in the pan and then I'm gonna pop them out um, and then let them continue cooling completely before we frost them. And we're just gonna run um, an offset around the outside. You could use a knife, but be careful with a knife because you don't wanna ruin the non-stickiness of your pans. Am I right? Um, so just go ahead and give that a run around. And then we are going to uh, flip it over gently, lovingly, with care, and pop her out. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that cake. Yes, my friends, we are in for a treat.
All right, we are ready to assemble. My cakes are completely cool, and I have picked my favorite cake stand for today, and I have made <laughs> my current favorite buttercream, which is a double chocolate American buttercream. And it's super fast, made in under 10 minutes, fluffs up so nicely. Yes, that looks right. It's a half cup. And then we're gonna spread it out. Oh man, this buttercream is so dark and chocolatey. And like, oh my gosh, I can't, cannot wait. You know what the great thing about icing a cake is? If you find that you didn't put enough on there, you can just add more. You want like a thin layer. If it's too thick, your layers are gonna slide. I mean, there's just, you know, but honestly, whatever you feel is right, is what is right. All right, take your second layer. If you would like a perfectly flat top, you can put her upside down. Um, you also, if you have, you know, one place that's a little lower than another, you can line them up kind of opposite so that you get a level cake in total. I like to go ahead and just mound a lot on the top and then you like go from there essentially. Spread her out. Go ahead and get it kind of like all the way across the sides. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go back around and we are going to frost down. So I'm gonna grab some more buttercream from my pot. Just get it on there however you feel like it. It's fine. And then spread her out. And now that I've got it nice and smooth, I'm just going to use uh, the back of a spoon to kind of put some decorative swirls in it. You know, this is just another technique. You could use your offset or a small offset, um, but this, this will give you those nice kind of like swooshes, if you will. Oh, so meditative. All right, anyway, it's still good. Just checking. The moment I have been waiting for. You see this though? What a giant cake. Mm. Classic, soft, moist, tender yellow cake that is not dry. It's just the perfect amount of just like delicate crumb and it kind of crumbles in your mouth and it's it's got like the creamy, silky, smooth chocolate buttercream. Mm. Heaven.